All right, but I tell you guys who won't be next, uh, who won't be back next, and that's R. Kelly. And uh, he has a lot of celebrity friends that he's disappointed in because the uh, the celebrity is saying that these friends didn't support him financially before sex trafficking trial. Now, I know that he's going through a lot. He's locked up. He's mad at Gail King. Oprah's not going to rescue him. And some boys have said that he allegedly has touched on him and did some stuff, too. Whew. So he's mad and saying that his music friend should have showed up for him and that he realizes that he just doesn't have the support that he thought. His sex trafficking trial is getting ready to start. And the singer is facing so many allegations of abusing women and girls over the decades that a lot of people knew about. You know, Kay Michelle was here on the show and said that mama should go to jail because they was in the kitchen cooking. And now the jury's been selected and the trial is getting ready to start. What do you guys think about it? Do you think that his friends owe him anything? Unless they was participating, hell no. Nah, they got to stay far away from that. But that's the sad part. Like K. Michelle said, and I was there for that interview, a lot of people had their eyes open. A lot of people seen what was going down. And I wouldn't be surprised if some other people will be named in this R. Kelly trial. I don't think he's going to just go down by himself. That's just my theory. But I think he got some more people to mention because, like I said, he wasn't in those studios by himself. People seen what was going on. Yeah, I think what he's saying is a public threat, guys. I think he's saying, hey, to all the folks who were in my ecosystem who saw me doing X, Y, and Z and never said anything and who have not put money on my books since I've been in jail, just know I feel a way, so you might want to run your pockets before I start talking. So I think this is a threat. I think he's trying to subliminally tell people who are co-conspirators to stop turning their backs before he starts singing like a canary. And we know he can sing, so... Well, R. Kelly, you might be able to sing, but at this point, you're trapped in the closet. These two guys coming out is opening it wide open. And you better step in the name of love because you're not stepping in the name of support. At this point, nobody wants to help you. Now, I do think that everybody who knew that he was doing this should go to prison. The security yeah. guards, the secretaries or assistants, the flights, whatever, everybody related to getting these kids to his bedroom so he can them down. They should all go to jail. I don't think he should be in there by himself. You know, um, the one thing I love about Hollywood Unlock, my staff, I, I literally have friends working with me or for me. I have staff that have been with me from the beginning. My staff are the best guardrails. There are times I be doing and I know I'm about to go off the ledge and they be like, uh-uh, you better not go over there. And Or they'll tell me straight up, like, nah, that's not a good look. Don't do that. And, and so I think that, you know, one thing that I do tell myself all the time, no matter how big this brand grows, no how much money I have or whatever, no matter what people say online, love or hate, always stay humble and stay grounded. Now, this is a person who for decades after this alleged activity and laying with all these young girls and, and boys, allegedly, um, has flourished and has just enjoyed the perks of life. He even had a whole album with Beyonce's husband. I mean, what is it? What is it? And and now he's going down by himself. I don't think it's fair. I don't think that justice will be served until everybody's in prison. Now, I may sound hypocritical by saying this, but I ain't going to lie and say that I turn off every R. Kelly song that comes on. I'm not going to be shamed into not liking good music. I'm not reading into the music now because social media tells me to. Earlier, I was bandwagoning saying, oh, I'm canceling all r kelly music i can't say that i have an r kelly playlist but i'm not going to say that i don't enjoy his songs his songs are good songs so to each his own do what you want but i will say to those of you who did what you wanted to do around these different uh situations that he was involved in you need to go to jail and i will be there right in the courtroom to say your honor i testify and tell the whole truth nothing but the truth so help me god i wasn't around but i'm just here to be nosy the, the scary part is he can even lie and say some names and it's going to make mm -hmm. all the blogs and everything and start the conversation. And yep. I'm with Blue. That sounds like a real threat. That sounds like, hey, I'm really disappointed that a lot of people haven't been supporting me. It's like, y'all know when I go on that stand, I'm singing. I'm saying mm -hmm. all types of names. You was in that studio. You knew I had the bedroom right there through the glass. Y'all were there. It's going down. This is going to be something to watch. And two, the allegations are so like tied intimately to the kind of music he made. When someone has a sexual assault accusation or a couple dozen and they make sexy time music, one of my favorite all time like sex playlist songs of all time is the R. Kelly remix of Anytime, Anyplace by Janet Jackson. That came on 
like during a moment after the accusations, I couldn't perform. I was like, ew, this feels nasty. So I'm just saying that like his music, a lot of the music sounds like a confession. Age ain't nothing but a number. A lot of the lyrics that he wrote sound like blatant confessions. So for some of us, not listening to his music isn't just us being self-righteous. It's a little bit too close to the truth. It's a little but Aaliyah, close. Aaliyah, Aaliyah's family let her be with him. Are they not complicit? Like, come on now. She's dead. And I know that this is such a sensitive subject, but I'm going to go ahead and say what needs to be said. I met Aaliyah twice. She was so pretty and sweet and nice and she smelled good and she was she was just such a nice girl like this is a girl who at the time when she was doing her thing she was having this uh meteoric rise like a Beyonce in the sense of her career really taking off people loved her like Missy Elliott I will never forget the way that Missy held her down before and after she passed away was like a family to her Timbaland Magoo the whole uh genuine Mm -hmm. that whole camp you know and at this at the same time she was married to R. Kelly when she was allegedly 15 years old. I don't give a f- if her family signed off it or not. The problem is you parents want to get your daughters out the hood so bad that you trade them off like property. You give them away like like laundry. And then when the dirt comes out, you want to sit up and point fingers at him by yourself. No, you all are complicit. Now, I'm not going to call out Aaliyah's family per se, but I will say the girl that I met should not have been with this man who we know was doing shit. we saw the tapes i remember that vhs tape being passed around in the hood and people yeah. saying oh my god r kelly them young girls and it being accepted because in the hood we all know those girls with the baby fat jackets that are pregnant by the dope boys in the in the community so it's it's this is a bigger conversation i don't think that's been unpacked that should be unpacked but i will say that r kelly should not be sitting in prison by himself and i ask all of you watching to create a hotline, R. Kelly, R. Kelly, go to jail.com and put pictures up of all the people that you think should go to prison with R. Kelly. Oh, I don't no. know. His, his, his lawyer came forward and said that his funds have been depleted, that he has no money okay. because he's been locked up for two years and he's missed out on all the stuff, even though we all know he was too afraid to fly. I believe I can fly. I have a question, though, guys. Like, if you knew somebody that you didn't know anything because the people who are in the ecosystem that's obvious they need to go to jail but what about the friends who did not know who he was charming and keeping in the dark if you had a friend who you thought was amazing and something as compelling as surviving r kelly came out about them would you have their back or would you pull away to protect your interest i'm out the hell no because you know what even if you're not if you're not in it after a few of them stories you can go so that's what his ass was doing over there that day. Like, if some right. things start to click, you might not be there for everything. Cause it, it, I got homies that you might do some stuff. I don't know what you're doing your personal time. I see you at the club. It's like, oh, dap you up. We're not friends like that. But then you start putting two and two together. Like, ah, uh, I see why you didn't want me to come to the to the studio that night. Cause you was on some. <laughs> so I do believe there was people around R. Kelly that had no idea because some people simply not standing for that. Yeah, I agree. Mm.